you to Pitt? Uh, so what brought me to Pitt was first I made that connection with Partridge starting early my junior year and then building that connection along with him and Dues. Dues became a big part of my recruitment and just seeing the kind of defense they play here it's just something I wanted to be a part of. As a playmaker, I love making plays. I felt this is a defense that I could really thrive in. What kind of recruiter is Pat Uh He's a like he's a great person. He'll always answer his phone. He's always available to talk to. So he's not someone where you'll text him, he'll wait a week to text you back, he'll hit you up the same day. So it's just that communication that's a big part of it. Coach Parker's leaving, how tough is that to have a guy that you built that relationship with, you got very close with, and how tough is that? Uh, at first, it's a big shock, obviously. You come in with this expectation of him being your coach, but you know, things change. And like all our teammates said, the older veterans and my high school coaches, it's a business in college football. So you can't really expect too much, but I'm excited to work with Tim. He's got high energy, similar to Partridge in that way, so I'm excited to be with him. What are some of the things you've learned from your teammates, especially like Dayon? I say to me, Dayon, Nate, Temple, and Bam, they've been great leaders to me. Uh, they just taught me like kind of like the ropes of how to go along with everything, how life is as a college athlete, and just what I can do to help better myself. Since you mentioned that when Charlie left, Dayon and those guys kind of <coughs> helped keep you guys keep your heads up. I mean, what you know, how did they, did they reach out to you, call me, just tell you don't worry about it? really just talking I mean kind of just like the day it hit we all talked and it's just like they, it's kind of like motivation like stuff happens but you got to look at it in a good way like now that you have a great connection with Partridge you have a great connection in the NFL now since it's great for him that he's in the NFL we're all proud of him so now we have that connection in the NFL so we could use that as sort of motivation you're a bit different of a build for some of the guys we talked to. You're six four. You got you got length. What are some of the things that you bring with that that make you a dangerous defensive line? Uh, so long arms. I say that's my best trait. I got long arms, so it just helps me get space between a lineman. So, what part of this defense? What they've been teaching us, especially Malcolm, is that when we're pass rushing, you want to create space and then take it away. So I feel like I can do that well with my reach. How long are your arms? Uh, I don't know. Never made them. Uh, Any additional questions? What's the benefit for uh, coming in early? Uh, yeah, coming in early, it's huge. I mean, mm -hmm. you get that six months just ahead of everything. You get workouts. Uh, you get playbook. That's probably the biggest thing. Knowing that playbook, like having it perfected almost going into fall camp is a huge benefit. So I feel like coming in early is just great for anyone that can have that opportunity. The off season is definitely different than, than the real season. How eager are you to start getting when, when spring ball starts? Oh yeah, I'm excited. I mean, we're football players at the end of the day. So off season is part of it, but what, we really love playing the game. So I'm excited to put on those pads. This program has put up many defensive linemen to the NFL lately. How attractive was that for you in the <coughs> process? Uh, that's one of the biggest things. I mean, the end goal is the NFL. That's what everyone wants to go to. So seeing how well Pitt has done with that, it's just something I want to do and be the next one to make that jump. Had you been to Pittsburgh at all before? Uh, yeah. Uh, so my stepbrother, he used to work for the university, so I visited up here once when I was younger, but other than that, not much. So the snow is a little bit of a surprise. Is uh, it the biggest one or? Honestly, the weather, I like the weather up here better than Florida. Like I like being a little cold versus hot and the snow isn't, I take the snow over the rain any day. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you so uh, much. Thank you.